Hello everyone out there. I am Wintergrave now recording another micro video from Server Ripple Remake. How is everyone? Oh, okay, that's just crashed. Um, I have been fine here doing a lot of work actually. Uh, I have been working a lot in that nether tunnel to the blaze farm. And oh man, that is grindy, so grindy. I actually stopped because I ran out of uh, bricks, of uh, clay bricks. And I will have to go on another time to destroy another swamp because I already destroyed one uh, to get more clay for bricks. Bricks are such an expensive uh, thing to farm. Um, okay, let, let's see if I have all my inventory correctly set uh, because, wow, while I was in the nether, I was using this suit. Let's just take my war robe here. There we go. So this is this is like my OP armor. Uh, I'm not using the chest plate because I'm using the elytra. But here, this is the uh, actually should I rename this? Can I? Let's see if I can rename it. This is going to be the. Uh, this is my suit to be in the Nether because it has like colors red and orange and that. It doesn't look very nice because of the enchantments, but I want to leave those enchantments there. So let's let's call these. Uh, Heat, heat cap. Oh, my anvil just went away. Um, but it got named. Let's see. I should have more iron, actually here. Let's grab. Yeah, let's grab one, two, three, and uh, that should be enough to craft one anvil and put it back there. So put the ingots there and store this thing here so that's going to be the heat cap and this is going to be the heat tonic tonic tunic uh, let's let's pronounce correctly uh, heat pants wow this name is <laughs> very cool heat pants and uh, heat boots let's do that heat boots and we are going to store that there so I will be adding more suits depending on the project I'm working on. I think that's a cool feature I could be uh, I could be doing. Let's put this here. And uh, now let's check on let's check on the farming area. Let, oh my god, no, no, dude! <laughs> Dang. <laughs> okay. Uh, wow, the cobblestone did a very good job. <laughs> Why was a creeper just in my house? I mean, in my door. Um, let's grab some some of this and put some anti creeper uh, well this is not anti creeper actually I only have one door do I have more doors here I have the wood let's craft another three and hope there's not another creeper walking there trying to come in here I don't know why they like to hang out on this area there we go. Put some of that. And there was a sign here that I don't remember what it said. I hear one of those skeletons. Where is it? It's under this tree. Here maybe? Oh, there's arrows there. Let's collect those. I'm very sure it's here. There we go. Give me those. Those slowness arrows. They're going to be useful at some point. This was supposed to be like uh, here maybe. Is there another skeleton around here? I still hear one. Alright. And before we leave, let's, let's just... Put some, where is it, dirt on this area, that is the, that is the roof of the area below. This is supposed to be one cobblestone block and uh, some slabs. Okay, I think the, this, the explosion didn't cause so much damage because it exploded on cobblestone and cobblestone has a very high uh, blast resistance 
Where am I putting the arrows? Here. These go here. Oh, I have more cobblestone on me already. So this is supposed to be there. And a slab here. And one more slab. Do I have cobblestone slabs here? Let's use a stone brick slabs. This is something I often do when uh, when uh, working on my areas. Every time there's like a, a patch or something I need to do, I often use different blocks uh, just to let know that there was some sort of repair happening. And that is the perfect excuse to be lazy. I think this was, this said the winter's house. Let's call it winter's outpost. There we go. That is going to be more accurate. And now that we have wasted a half a day doing some repairing, let's go to the farming area at last. Also having blast resistance. Do I have blast resistance here? Oh, okay. I don't know. I think I have blast resistance on my chest plate. This is protection, protection. And protection. Yeah, my chest plate is the one that has blast resistance. I'm still smelting some nether bricks here from the uh, nether project. And I have a high efficiency uh, cocoa bean uh, farm here. And it's semi-automatic. It's, it's great. Works so great. Alright, let's take a look on the villagers. They should have stopped breeding for now. They should be out of bread. I don't see any more hard particles coming out of them. Let me just look while I drink some coffee. Okay, I have more energy now. And uh, yeah, they are not breathing anymore. Um, they, they are totally out of bread. They cannot breathe anymore because they are hungry and I am not feeding them anymore because there are a lot and uh, I don't want to uh, I don't want more villagers yet because that's like 60% nitwits I guess that's a lot of nitwits and those guys are not very useful at this moment I don't know what I'm going to do with them per perhaps I'm just going to send them away to an unloaded area so I can keep them there and uh, why not kill them you might ask well, because um, I could have more plans for them. Uh, so I'll keep them ar uh, around on the base, just not loaded. Um, so it, at any any um, time... Stop pushing me! At any time I can use them, I just have them available. I'm going to grab some of these materials. And um, I have some stairs. Um, do I have more stone here? I should have like a box with a bunch of stone. Let's check on this one. These are the materials from the from the nether tunnel. Uh, polish and the side. I want to keep that one. I don't want to use that one at the moment. Um, all right, so I'm going to craft two more stacks of this. And uh, good, there's glass. On this box, so I'm going to use a little bit of glass uh, because I will be working with uh, how I'm going to be setting up the farming modules around here. Let's just do a quick uh, setup. It's going to be night soon, but I just will come back to sleep. I'm leaving this ravine here. I don't know how I am going to work with this. I'm going to do something. There's like a huge mineshaft down there. Uh, and it's going to be a little bit annoying, but I'm going to have to uh, explore it all. Put some torches, hopefully find another spawner, maybe skeletons, because I need bone meal and bones. I don't have any more. Uh, it's, uh, well, I have uh, a few, but not much. In case I want to do like bone blocks or uh, farming stuff. Yes, I don't have that many. Um, so... This, this is what I'm working with here. Uh, I actually, let's see, I'm going to be using the acacia wood because uh, because we are in the savanna and uh, acacia is, is uh, uh, it's the wood of this biome 
and I want to, to kind of uh, keep this that um, that style that working with the uh, resources a biome delivers. Um, so if I put some stairs. Let's say, um, how could I be working with this? I want to use some sort of, um, no, not that. That wouldn't do because, well, I will have to jump here. If I do something like this. So I jump. If I put stairs here, I could just do it like a normal stair but that looks that, that looks too steep i want it i want it to look more uh, natural uh so for example if i wanted the if i wanted the stairs to be at this level here there's no way i can i can go there without one of this so let's go and quickly sleep before something bad happens. Can I fly like this? No, I can never fly like this. I don't know why. I used to be able to do it at some sometimes, but now, okay, you don't need to be here anymore. No, I just can't. Let's run to the area. And there we go. Isn't that like um, comfortable, like sleeping and hearing the fire crackling behind? That for me sounds very, very great. Uh, all right. I remember the times when I used to sleep in the open field. Yes, I used to do that. That way. Ouch. Oh, I want those. Yes. That's that's something I want to keep around with me. All right, so with this, what is um, what can I do? So let's just watch out for creepers on this area. <laughs> what can I do on um to have like a. A way to go up there. Perhaps, okay. Let's do some slaps with this. Like this and that. Okay, that's a bunch of slaps. Uh, if we had slaps here, that's like a bottom slab, right? Okay, let's leave this. Let's leave this log there, like some sort of a support and then uh, put some stairs here and another log do I have dirt? Okay, let's collect some some of this. Do I have the? Yeah, this is the gravel maker. Let's put some uh, dirt on the area so I can just do that and grab the slabs again and do something like that and that. So we have like a, a way to go up without jumping. And it looks like, um, yeah, this is how I want it to look. So let's let's add one of those here, and perhaps something like that here and there, right? So we have some a steepy, uh, not steepy, a slopey. Is that the word slopey, steepy? Um, yeah, I will be fixing those. Let's let's break these logs and replace them as I am going up so I can have like a, a slopey <laughs> I don't know if the term is correct but a, a slopey or or less steepy that's that that will be what I want to mean with that less steepy way up um, 
So from here, uh, I will be adding a slab and then uh, let's put some logs that is coming out of there. Then I'll add some stairs, uh, not facing that way. Oh, why do you have to go down there? It will be here, like that. And you know what? I want to do some fences. Let's uh, place this in a place that where I won't be um, removing it later. Uh, so let's craft. Yeah, let's craft there. That's enough. And let's put some uh, fencing for about. I see a log there. Uh, for about here and here and there. And so I am not. Uh, and here too. That way I won't be like uh, getting uh, on the top of that. Let's grab this log. And come back here or perhaps I could be adding like supports on on some areas here like that so it looks like something is supporting them and at some point I could do uh, this for example let's see then I come up here and here I will add more slabs and I will get this one going out of here like this another one perhaps and then more locks uh, no that should be that should be stair so let's remove that and let's let's put some stairs and then the log yeah then the log like this there we go and we're almost up there so um, I will add uh, why is it like getting darker um, I will add some um, slab path I could I could even use like cobblestone slabs at some point here um, oh man I need to eat this. Can I eat? No, I am not hungry. Um, let's let's use wooden slabs for now, and I'm not going to need these seeds at this moment. Uh, I want the flower. So let's see. Let's do that. There. So I'll remove uh, stone and grass from here. Let's use this and um, here, here, and there. There we go. We are up here. We made it. We made it to the top. Um, I'll put some of this here. And there, why not? Maybe some fencing. Just to prevent falls, you know. You gotta be careful with these unstable structures. Yep. And there. So I cannot jump. Some lighting. There we go. Oh, I must remember. I have no particles. Options. Uh, video settings. And let's put particles to all. Because we are not in the farms anymore. I mean in the grinders. We can we can use particles without getting our frames des destroyed. Uh, so what I want to do here. Hmm, I want to do... Let's put a chest. Just to have like... A, uh, one of those um, neat temporary. Uh, no, I need one more. I need more wood. Yes. Sixteen. Uh, no, let's let's do a double chest. There we go. One of those neat temporary uh, construction chests that we have to annoyingly uh, annoyingly move later. 
so let's put that here uh, the stone and uh, let's keep on that um, actually I'm going to need more dirt I should go for for that here we're going to be working on one of those farming modules I uh, I have been talking about so what is this uh, if essentially let's see it's one two three four one two three four essentially there's going to be like water there's going to be water on the edges of this uh, there's going to be water on these blocks or waterlogged blocks water or waterlogged blocks on these all around this area and uh, let's see it's one two three four and another four deep it's going to be a small model I was talk I was talking that I want to put vill villagers to do farming for me but I am not going to go like for a highly efficient uh, model I'm just going to go like uh, more for a visual a functional um, uh, style of uh, getting villagers to farm stuff for us uh, and uh, that way I'm going to have like a slow and steady and constant supply of um, of crops like uh, wheat, carrots, um, potatoes and whatever they can farm uh, even beetroot I don't know I don't know how is that's going to be like uh, yeah maybe I could I could uh, have managed to, to get them farming beetroot for me uh, so that's one, two, three, four, and uh, another four, two, and three, and that's going to be the last one. There we go. Hello, Carl's. Oh, that, what? How? Maybe he locked off. <laughs> Maybe he locked off. Oh, uh, did he glitch out of the war? Uh, color reads just logged on and then fell out of the world Perhaps he logged off while jumping to the void last time. Oh <laughs> Okay, I, I think he knew where <laughs> Where he was Yeah, okay, that sounds sad. I hope I hope he's fine um, Perhaps not because he just fell into the void and um, that is actually uh, almost never fine, but uh, man, okay, yeah, now I just, do I have an Elytron? I do have it on, it just didn't deploy. Gotta be careful if I am jumping to the void with that. Enter under bridge, when I got Posh out of the minecart, oh my god, okay, so that is a thing. They, these guys built a new Ender Ender bridge. I haven't seen it, but apparently it's glitchy, and you can glitch out of it, and then fell to the void. Perhaps they should put um. What about putting a safety below it? Perhaps they should put like a safety net below it. You know what? I have like empty shulker boxes here Let's grab um, Let's grab a couple And put my building materials in there so I can just uh, Take them out of there when I need them And also Oh it's too low. It's right at build limit. Ow. Oh. Okay, so there's no room for like a safety net. Too bad. Did you lose some stuff? Okay, that's never good. <laughs> so the bridge is too low man why why is that designed like that I I, I think well I, th I think it has to be like that so now I can grab a little bit more of that okay that's fine well if you die to a glitch it's okay to glitch stuff 
Uh, did I grab some uh, dirt? I guess I did. And uh, I do have my black pack with me. So, alright, so let's try to finish that. I want to do something else on this episode. Okay. Good. Alright, so, what, I, what do I want to do here? Uh huh. I have one water bucket. And there's water there. I really want to be able to just to just like take off fly and uh, and move faster. Let's see. Uh, okay. So this is good. This is how this is going to work. And of course, <coughs> I need to. <coughs> Sorry, I need to like um, have. Uh, this has to look better. This for now is is the concept, but I'm going to to play around and uh, maybe this is not going to be enough dirt, and, and see how I can I can get it done uh, better. So let's remove all of this row here, like that. There we go. So the the dirt is going to be all around here. This could be uh it is not necessary to be on this arrangement arrangement. As I said before, I am focusing here on getting something uh visual more than efficient. So I know it's not going to be like highly efficient and I don't mind about that too much. Is this correct? One, two, three, four. Three, four. I guess this row doesn't uh, go here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Like that. There we go. Then I'll do it this way. Alright, so if I put this here, I need now some water. I need to put some blocks on this area. So I no, that's <laughs> those are not blocks. So water doesn't escape. Uh, and actually here. And there and then there's going to be like a glass cover on the front, and the villager is going to be in here farming, and below it is I it I'm going to have some minecarts doing some tricky stuff to pick up the crops the villagers can't. Uh, I don't think I will have enough time to bring the villagers here at the moment, but let's see. Uh, okay, so let's, let's put some water on that area there and let's go for one more piece. Can I fly? Can I fly? Oh, okay, I am flying. I am gliding. Let's try to glide to the water like that. There we go. And I'll just grab one bucket of this. Grab a rocket and let's fly up. I like this mountain to do something really cool here. Look at that. Okay, let's go back there. Let's try to not lose orientation. Wow. There's a bunch of area I need to explore here. The place is so cool with a savanna next to a to a snowy biome here. And break. Oh. Alright, so now I can just uh, multiply this water until I have it totally where I want it. I should have on my black pack like a stack of uh, ice for this uh, kind of stuff, perhaps, instead of a bucket of water. Maybe that, that would be more efficient. And put it there. And uh, this will be basically, of course, I need to 
uh, use some other blocks. I want to use like um, water log stairs like this all around it uh, because in case I have to dig behind and I will I will also place let's see do I have some glowstone here I could place oh no sea lanterns yes I definitely need to use sea lanterns on the area to, to keep this uh, lit up because now I can just put uh, some uh, blocks here and, and if I put sea lanterns on the on the edges this is going to be lit and the crops will be able to to grow without a problem and since this will be like a farmland there won't be like uh, problems with uh, mobs spawning in here um, because mobs don't spawn on the farmland it's not a full block okay so this this is how this is looking now um, it has a very good um, a very good uh, look here uh, and um, yeah I was interrupted on the last clip uh, so what do we have to do now okay so there's a little um, thing I need to do I need to classify these guys here I need to to separate them according to their professions and their capabilities, you know. Some of them, what the freak? <laughs> that polar bear is just going up there. These guys just go to the most uh, unusual places. Uh, so yeah, um, I need to classify what these guys do. They, they, they have different abilities. And uh, for now, I am going to disable these... Uh, this village from here so let's take apart the village let's let's break the doors uh, actually I'm going to keep this guy here do I have inventory space I do I'm going to keep this high this guy here to move it uh, to another location later because he's a special one he's one of the founders of this village uh, villi village village of this village yeah um, the other one got confused with the crowd so I don't know who the other founder is but this one uh, I can know because he's named uh, he's one of the founders so whoa does it disappear in the corner of the screen there he goes away wow <laughs> uh, all right uh, so he's going to be here for some time uh, I think he has uh, enough light uh, so nothing spawns in there. It's going to be protected and um, There's something on this area Yeah, I know these doors are not necessary. I just I was just playing with uh, with stuff here placing placing a bunch of doors uh, I know they are extra um, This area is uh, special because I, when I usually work with villagers I build like a glass dome above them or a glass uh, plane uh, better said so they don't get hit by lighting, but there's no lighting on this area because we are in a savanna and it doesn't rain here uh, When it's thundering, I can know it's thundering because it sounds but there's actually no thunder hitting the ground here So these villages villagers are safe Are safe from uh, thunder. They will not be affected by thunder. Okay, so let's go check that area there Ooh, Yeah I'm collect the doors that fail. They are really noisy those guys. They like to shut a lot. So yeah, uh, I'll see what I can do to classify them. Uh, you, you know, do you hurt? Do you hurt entities if you... Uh, okay, these can't turn out <laughs> wrong. But I'm going to try it anyway. Uh, okay, let's grab... Uh, let's grab a few so, uh, Let's make some sticks with this Let's put the doors here. I'm not going to need them. Oh, you know what? I'm going to replace these ones I don't want these doors to be creating villager villages what they are not Supposed to be so this is going to be annoying, but I'm going to have to open them and close them like that It doesn't look at as cool as the doors, but uh, 
I don't want any other doors than the ones I'm going to place in the future here. Uh, okay, I'm going to put this here. So I'm going to grab... Oh, Pink, stop pushing me! He loves to be pushing me around here. Uh, I tap I tap out a lot uh, during when I play because I, I'm constantly uh, getting distracted by by things, uh, and uh, and I leave uh, I I stay here then I tap out the game and when I come back I am either here or I, I don't know this this pig just likes to push me around uh, everywhere. Okay, so let's see if that uh, polar bear gets angry at me. If I fish him, are you angry at me? He's not. And I can pull him. All right, so I I can pull the entities with the. Yeah, I can use the fishing rod to 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 fish the villagers and move them. Uh, and and move them to to different um, areas. That's interesting. Okay, let's let's pay a, a quick visit to that. So I have some uh, stairs, uh, wooden stairs or wooden structures going up there, all the way there, and then coming down here. So I can go up by this place here, and um, I'm trying to make everything so you can just walk over this. I need to put more slabs on this area. Perhaps I should do like. That I don't have any more wooden stuff on me. Let's let's check on the shulker boxes. What do I have uh, here? Let's make some slabs like that and that. So I can put slabs here and here. There we go. That way it'll, it will be easier to come here. So this is going to be encased by with glass here and the villagers are going to be um, in there uh, just doing their farming uh, to, to have all the crops being collected. I still need to build a system to pick up the stuff from below. That is going to be done with the mine carts, with hopper mine carts. Um, yeah, all right. So, um, I'm going to put blocks all... Oh, no, oh, no, no, no. Before doing this, I need to use... Um, oh, it's getting night already? Uh, I need to use some stair blocks. I do have some here. Okay, Dots is sleeping. Thank you. <coughs> that saves me a trip to the bed. Oh, that's the wrong position. Can I grab this? There we go. So that's the correct one. And that is not necessary, by the way. I'm just doing it because oh, I hate when that happens. I'm just doing it because uh, because I like how it feels to know that uh, everything is properly supported and uh, piped. Can I say piped? I guess, uh, alright, let's check on the other one. I guess I forgot to put some slab, um, because I am using this uh, slabbing here, like this. What is that? I, I thought I saw like a creeper there, uh, and these two should be stone bricks. No, not the clock. The stone bricks. <laughs> uh, all right. So this also is going to have the same layout here, like that. There we go. And uh, yeah, I placed the sea lanterns. I didn't show this uh, on the last uh, clip. I place the sea lanterns uh, on the on these uh, cells. I'm going to call them cells, farming cells. Yeah, that's that sounds very very good. And I'm liking the style because you know, 
Since we started on this area, we started building like uh, wooden houses, outposts, cobblestone outposts and all of that. And now we are slowly upgrading to better technologies. Now we are using stone bricks, stone slabs that look so good. Actually, the labor my laboratory is, is like a high-end uh, uh, build, but this one is slowly uh, upgrading from cobblestone and wooden stuff to more modern modern well more developed yeah developed lighting and um, and materials and it's going to be like that it's going to be progressing slowly uh so i can finally get to the to the stage where everything is just metallic and uh, and clean uh, with with all the structures on this area so that's the way it's going to be progressing all right so i have the cells done what i don't have now is a way to put the villagers here i guess i'm going to be using like that's my choker boxes i'm going to be using like um minecarts uh to to do some kind of a uh, roller coaster from there to here and put uh, one brown coated villager on each one of these cells of these farming cells um so yes Let's just uh, drop everything I can drop here. I'm going to put my super hole there. So I'm going to grab even more stone bricks. Now that's that comes here. So I'm going to craft all of this. And uh, okay, let's see if I can do something with the villagers. There we go. By using this fishing rod. Hmm. How can I work with this? So the plan will be to just put them all here. And slowly uh, separate them according to their profession. Okay. So I'm going to try to come up with... Uh huh. I'm going to try to come up with the structure here and try to. I need to protect this area to have it completely lit up so there's no spawnings here. And um, and and then I'm going to do some sort of a structure here to have. Let's see how many professions are there, or how how many codes. Yeah, I'm going to separate them by code. Uh, so there's 60% uh, nitwits, and there's the priests, I see a lot of priests. Then the brown coated are either uh, black apron, white apron, or no apron, right? So that's three, four, five, six. Six types of villagers. They can have, uh, they can be subdivided in professions, but uh, I'm looking mainly for the, their coating first. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to do like six, six uh, areas there. And then one common area, I'm going to put them over here and fish them up so I can separate them. That is going to be, <laughs> that is going to be how I do it. But I'm going to have to do that off camera because it's going to take me some time and uh, I don't think I have more time for recording today. So I guess next recorded clip is going to be hopefully tomorrow. I'm hoping that. So uh, I'm working with that. Oh, okay. And I'm going to do something else if I have some time left. I don't know. I need to go to the embassy. I need to go there because I want to, to, to do something on that area. Or at least check it out. What was that noise? Sounds so weird. All right, so I'll see you in a bit. Wow, what is that monstrosity there? <laughs> okay, I managed to come up with a uh, burning zombie. I managed to come up with something really, really quick here, as quick as I can do it. I made, well, this, this cell is smaller than the other ones. Hmm, I wonder who would, who would we put here on the small cell? Um, I this I made this little uh, stone brick uh, monster thing so I can um, I can classify the villagers and uh, actually I gotta see if it works 
But first, I have to attend the usual interruption, so I'll be back. Okay, okay, are we good now? I really hope we're good. Uh, all right, so now let's see if this causes trouble or not. Let's see if this works for now. If it doesn't work, it's going to make a mess, but, uh, well, I'll have to be okay with it. Okay, so here they come. Oh, oh, oh okay, they are trying to jump. <laughs> Where are you trying to go? Uh, they really want... They are desperate to be out of there. It's so crowded, so they want to go out. So now, let's see. Who will I catch? Can I get them out of there? Uh, I need to pull... Do I have to go higher? Let's see like that. Let's fish one up. Oh, okay, that works. Now let's pull him up. And that's a wide... Okay, so I have to be this high. Uh, I need to make another another fishing rod. I need to be that high. Uh, let's put a torch up there. I don't, I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it and have a zombie spawn here and, and ruin the party. So where am I going to put these guys? Uh, I'm going to send this guy to the back. So if I do this... That should put him away. Then I do this. Oh. Okay, no, he's powered by this. So I'm going... Oh, this is going to be a problem. All right, so I'm going to... Can I... Can I put that lever down there and still activate... No, that's a torch. Yeah, these are levers. And still activate... No, it does. It just activates one. Okay, that works. I'm going to put it there. So let's grab stuff. And uh, so this guy is waiting for us here. So this is power. So I do this. He's gonna go back here. And now I open this. And he's going to fall down into this cell. There we go. So we have the what the the brown coat. The brown coat white apron is all the way there. Uh, I should uh, add a way to go up here. Yeah, this is this is place is, is a little bit messy. Uh, so let's grab another one. Let's see. Oh, what a surprise! An Edward. Let's put him in in the stream. And uh, there he goes. I'm going to put the Edwards at the front here because there are so many. Uh, so they are like majority, so they're going to be at the front on this side There we go open that he's gonna fall down in there And there will he will be <laughs> so that's basically how I'm going to work with this uh, I'm usually going to use like a, a mending uh, Fishing rod or at least some breaking. Okay, that works great from this height. Okay. Oh, okay that broke and that is a brown 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 coat, black apron. So this is the toolsmiths and the weaponsmiths and all. Why are you staying there? You shouldn't stay there. You're going to die. Um, I made this wrong. So I need him to. I need him to go there. All right. So that's a problem there. I'm going to have to work on that and fix it. So, luckily, I'm going to do that in off camera. Uh, I don't think any zombies can come here, right? Because everything is uh, is tall. Let's put torches here, just to to make sure there's nothing going to spawn in there. So the black apron. I'm going to send these guys to the back here because there are not so many. So I'm going to put it on the other side. I'm going to close this and open this and open this. So it's, he's going to stay here. There we go. And everything closed again. So I'm going to be doing that process as for as long as I need to classify all of those. <laughs> Until I have these cells filled with every type of villager there is and I guess I'm going to put the the farmers on one of these ones Here oh, I'm going to put the farmers here on the pot soul. 
or here, I don't know. Uh, so I will have them ready to tra transport them up here. There, I don't know how many farmers I'm going to have there. I don't think there are enough. One, two, three, four, five. I need five farmers at least. We'll see. We'll see. Well, not necessarily farmers. They have to be just brown coats and no apron. Uh, those are the ones. But yeah, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put all the garbage I have on me on these choker boxes here. It's so much garbage. Okay, I need the pistons, the levers, and this on another box. So this is going to be here. This comes on this box. Um, I'm going to put the signs there. There we go. So I'm going to take these two with me and I'm going to go to the embassy area because I want to check something out. Um, let's put that here actually. And uh, I guess I'm going to see you there and that will end this episode. So see you at the embassy. Uh, I'm in trouble. I used to come back to come to the hub by that ladder there. And I fell into this uh, tunnel. How do I get in? I'm going to have to break. I have, I'm going to have to break in. Is this? Oh, I see something cool down there. Uh-huh. All right. So that was a stair. Uh, how should I... Place this like that, and then how am we gonna go back? <laughs> uh, can I reach that? There, there we go. Like nothing happened. I hope it was there. It was like that. Oh, this is slippery. I'm over ice <laughs> here. Or oh, oh my god, how am I gonna go back up? Uh, this is cool. I think, I think I will be connecting to this tunnel. Uh, because I, I, my base is like in that direction there, so I guess I'm going to be using this one. Okay, but let's go to the embassy, um, now. So cool, these nether hubs. I always love how they, they work on that. I have never been able to participate in something like this, and this is massive. I have no idea if I could do something like that, so, so massive. Uh, oh, th is this a way up? Perhaps I can go up. No, this is not a way up. This is like yeah, there's a way up here, but I need to go there. I guess I need to place more ladders. All right, so I'll solve it. I'll solve it later. Uh, but for now, oh, I know what I could do. For now, I guess the embassy is over this way. This is the tunnel to the place uh, farm, by the way. It's work in progress. I need to put some lamps and more uh, iron bars and all. But this goes all the way to the place farm there. It's not so far. But um, I have been working on that uh, between episodes. And it's such a massive work. Uh, okay. Embassy area up here. Let's go super fast. Through the ladders. And now let's hopefully, hopefully, uh, spawn there during the day. Yes, it is. It is. I see someone there. Who, who is that? Let's see. Let's see if we can. S oh, he's so fast. Am I sprinting? I am sprinting. I don't know why I'm, I, I am so slow. He went there. Who's that? Dots? He dots? It's dots. Oh no, he... No! He went in here. Knock, knock. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Never mind. What is this? Um... Okay, it's getting night. Wow, this is so cool. Look at that fancy door. There. Hello. I saw a bed down there. Maybe it should sleep. I don't know how lit this is. This is called Wright's Temporary Temp Embassy. Slime. One diamond per stack. 
I have a little bit that my tent building. Oh, uh, okay. He oh replace the sign. Okay, so he's replacing the sign. I don't. I wonder what the shop sells there. Hmm. I do need stuff. I do need stuff. Yes. Um. I, I'm. I think I'm going to go do a little bit of shopping here. Um. That looks cool. I don't wanna blow up something, so I have to be careful. Um. Let's see what's up here. Ooh. Is this available? It looks developed, but uh, the, the embassy is so cool just like that. So what about the embassy? This area, this area is like uh, an area where every, every one of us can put like uh, something representing the, their, their base or I don't know how to say their area. What are those? I want to check those out. Uh, books here. Get your books here. So and and there are like shops where I can buy stuff. Uh, I could buy books from here, I guess. Power four. Yeah. I do have a lot of books, but uh, once I decide. Uh, oh, mending and frost walker. Oh, so cool. And the place is so nice. Look at this. Mending three three diamonds? Three diamonds for mending. Okay, that's that's cheap. And I'm breaking also three diamonds. I do want that. Place your order. Alright, so let let's get the diamonds out here. Let's get the diamonds out and let's use Let's use my unlucky pick to make some uh, diamonds. Do I have some wooden stuff here? Um, can I do that? I need to be closer. Let's make a little bit more. There we go. I should I should have like ready to spend diamonds, but I always like to store my diamonds in ore. I guess it's, it's more like, um, in, in case I do need to use uh, diamond ore for decoration, I don't wanna destroy all the diamond ore I have. So I have, I like to keep some ore. So I'm going to buy these two, I'm breaking three books because I'm always, I'm always having trouble um, Getting the unbreaking three when I need it. I get a lot of unbreaking when I don't need it, but uh, when I need it, this is going to save me so much trouble. And uh, let's store this in my shopping bag for the books here on the magics. Let's put them there. All of them in there. That's nice. Wow, my 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 mouse is doing weird things. Why? Why are the weird things on the mouse? Can I sleep somewhere here? I want to sleep the night away. Okay, that's a convenient bed up in the roof of, uh, in the attic of this house. I think this is going to be still developed uh, further. Okay, that hurt. Oh, this bed has some nails there. Uh, okay, let's go down. No creepers about? Hopefully not. What is this? I want to see what this is. A random uh, house with random chests, empty chests in there. Okay, this this must be like work in progress. Marlowe's. Okay, he's gonna do something there. Oh, Marlowe does does such a good like uh, uh, modern style builds or I don't know. I like the way he builds. Um, Okay, so I guess I want to take I want to take a place. Oh, there's an iron golem there. I want to take a place like for about this level, these two levels. I guess this one. I don't. Okay, this one is taken because because he's here. Yeah, this one is taken. These both are taken. This is that's and that's uh, cars. So let's see down here. Any sign? 
any sign down here. Doesn't seem so, okay, this area is free and that, okay, this is very big. <laughs> and that area is also free, but this one is smaller. I don't know where it's going to be built down here. Let's see who's taken, who's taken this place. This place has been taken by, oh, Dikoch. Okay, Dikoch is going to build some, he does like a, uh, also, also good builds and and maybe big. This one, I don't think this this build is going to be bigger. It's so cool, and it says, and it says I run here. So maybe the person who built it must be named Ron, and this is his uh, I shop or something like that. Um, okay, let's let's check it out because I want to do some iron buying here. Guardian of Squid. He surely guards the squids. Welcome. Yeah, this is this is Carlux, <laughs> Carlux and Magus shop. Look at that greed up there. Okay, so what are the prices on this? That's a lot of iron. Okay, six six diamonds for stack. Is that the price? Is that the price? Okay, here. On the irony, one stack, six diamonds. All right, all right. Uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Okay, that's, oh no. <laughs> Mats not do that. Six diamond there. And there we go. So I can take one, two, and three and let's save a little bit of diamonds i have a lot yet here let's save those and let's go for the slimes i i, I have been needing like uh like uh magma blocks and uh, uh i don't like to mine them in the bottom of the nether so what i have been doing is crafting the magma blocks using slime and blaze powder so uh that's one diamond per stack one diamond per stack i am also going to get three of them one two three there we go that's something all right now let's claim an area and i guess i'm going to claim this one It's between these two areas. It's either that one or, the, or this one. I don't know what I don't know what Dikoch is going to build here. But uh, because if it does like a massive building up here, uh, maybe this this is going to have the the view obstructed. Can you do that? Can you do like a massive building one in one of these embassies? Perhaps. And if I do it here... This house is not so big, but... But the view from here... The view from this area I think is better because there's all this plane there. And I can, and I can always do like a... You know, one of those spectacular... <laughs> Uh, blocking the view of those there. I don't know. And there's also this mountainous area and that I don't know what is being built there But uh, I guess I I Independently of how big this this building is I'm also gonna have like available view from this area and whatever is going to be done there So I guess I'm going to pick this one I'm going to pick this one and I'm going to do I'm going to do something different you know, there's there's the usual the usual things you can sell or or do in a shop. Yes, I'm going to do a shop, but also like an area representing my um, empire. I could say it's not an empire; it's a republic. Yeah, to represent my republic. <laughs> yeah, uh, I. Oh, what is that? Oh, is that is that the building that goes from there? Can you do that? That's so cool. Um, okay, so I'm going to, 
I'm going to do an, an error representing that and a shop you can do like the usual shop where you sell things you harvest from from the resources of, of the world. For example, you harvest iron and you sell iron, you harvest slimes, you sell slime, you make enchanted books and you sell them there. But I'm going to be using like an intermediate market because I'm not going to be producing what I'm going to be selling. I'm going to be crafting what I'm going to be selling and buying the product to someone else. Uh, so what exactly is? I'm going to be selling fireworks, but not fireworks to fly with. Yeah, uh, winters, um, dazzling lights coming soon, right? Uh, I don't know how soon it's going to be that, that, but I'm going to be making fireworks that make visual effects and colors on the sky. I'm going to be making fireworks that hurt you if you fly with them, but you have a cool effect like stars, colors, uh, faces, and uh, big uh, spheres of colors. That's going to be uh, what I'm going to be selling. Uh, among with maybe other fun things I can be crafting, but they're going to be more decorative or fun to use rather than have like a specific use. Uh, so that's going to be it. And uh, let's see if for next episode we can do like the starting of uh, what that is going to be, uh, hopefully. So yeah, that's that's my plan. And for that, of course, I'm not going to... I'm I. Wow, there's zombies down here. This is not what lit down here for sure. I'm not I'm not I am not going to have like a creeper farm or witch farm for gunpowder. So I'm probably be buying gunpowder to Magu and Carlock and um, and other things to other people. I will be buying paper to someone else who produces mass paper. I won't be producing it myself. Uh, I will be buying uh I don't know uh any other resources I need to craft my stuff so I won't be producing that so that's that's my plan but that's going to be all for today this was over extended I think uh, but I hope you enjoyed watching this episode and I hope to see you on the next one I don't know whose bed is this one but it's very comfy to jump on uh, <laughs> so I'll see you on the next episode goodbye everyone may you all be well